Hey, what's up guys? Vic here again with Strikers Reptiles. Today we're going to dive in a little bit to our Savannah Monitors diet. Um, you know, I see all sorts of videos all over the internet with Savannah Monitors eating all sorts of crazy prey items and basically uh, just because it's a prey item that a Savannah Monitor can eat doesn't necessarily mean it's a prey item a Savannah Monitor should eat. So we're going to dive into what we consider an optimal diet for keeping our Savannah Monitor in prime health. All right, guys, we're back here with Jane Wick, our Savannah Monitor. She just had a nice big dinner. So, you know, with a species that's as hard to maintain as the Savannah Monitor, we like to keep her diet as close to a natural diet as possible. A natural diet for Savannah Monitors in the wild is going to consist almost exclusively of insects. Hatchling Savannah Monitors will actually invade giant cricket burrows shortly after hatching so that they can eat the inhabitants. Uh, until they grow to a larger size. So that being said, when we first got uh, Jane Wick here, she was less than two months old probably. So we started her out on a diet of calcium dusted crickets and mealworms, and that was pretty much all she ate for the first couple months of her life. Now, it quickly got to the point that she was able to eat 70, 80, 90 or more crickets, you know, large crickets, in one sitting. Obviously that gets impractical pretty quickly. So what you're going to need when your savanna monitor reaches that larger larger size, to, you know, juvenile slash sub-adult, you know, a lot of people will start feeding them uh, rodents almost exclusively at that point or meat, you know, ground meat, eggs, and even stuff like cat food. Um, and, you know, rodents, eggs, those can make good treats for savanna monitors. Stuff like cat food, it's got a lot of additives, uh, not too in line with the natural diet for them. So essentially, when savanna monitors reach a certain size, you know, juvenile slash sub-adult, there basically comes this conundrum of wanting to feed them efficiently while still feeding them their natural diet, which consists of insects. So, at that point, you're going to need to switch to some larger, maybe less common feeders than crickets and mealworms, such as dubia roaches, discoid roaches, a wide variety of beetles, grasshoppers, locusts, if you're in the UK, superworms, um, all sorts of stuff that, you know, attains a larger size than crickets. Some of those can be harder to find or more expensive, so it might be beneficial to start, you know, sort of breeding colony of those. At the end of the day, their diet needs to consist of at least 80%, up to 95% or more, uh, strictly invertebrates. So for treats, we use rodents. Right now, she, you know, she's been in her extended fasting period for the winter, so we've been feeding her rodents about once a week. We've been giving her raw eggs every now and then, some crawfish. Those are all great for putting on weight, but when it comes to maintaining a savanna monitor, you basically want the diet to be insects, guys. All right, guys. So that was our quick breakdown of savanna monitor diets and their natural diet, so to speak. I just wanted to cover one more thing before we close out the video and that's you know a lot of people say that as soon as their savanna monitor gets to a certain age where it'll be eating rodents it'll start to ignore insects i've heard about people saying that their savanna monitors will only eat live rodents i've even heard anecdotal stories about savanna monitors that'll only eat raw salmon uh, so there's a lot of stories out there about people saying, you know, their savanna monitor is addicted to this and that. The truth is, captive savanna monitors are basically garbage disposals. Um, if your savanna monitor is kept in the proper conditions, that's high humidity, high basking temperatures, uh, they're going to eat what they're offered. You know, whether that be bugs, rodents, meat, a finger, you know, they'll basically go for what they can. They're opportunistic feeders. Uh, more so than any other reptile we own. So uh, those stories about you know savanna monitors only eating, cer eating certain kinds of prey, I would point to the husbandry in most cases. Of course, uh, I don't know everything, and I'm not, this is not gospel, but uh, this is just what I've seen and what most experienced monitor keepers have seen. They'll basically eat what's put in front of them, um, even up into a large size. My girl will still chase crickets around. So that's our video, guys. Uh, please feel free to drop a like, a comment if you have any questions. Subscribe. We're going to be doing a ton of Savannah Monitor videos, keeping the information flowing and even some information as we start a breeding project with this girl in the coming years.
Thank you very much. Have a great day.